Hello there everybody, Dunk the Muffin Man is back today, yes, to watch some, say it with me, Overload, hey, hey, hey. episode 13, season 3, the final episode of Overload has yet again come along, okay, first of all, thank you to all you, you regular viewers, slash subscribers, and welcome to any new viewers here today, alright? The faithful battle between Ainz, <laughs> the duel between Ainz and Gazef is going to happen. We all know. I, 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 I'm an anime only and I already know that. There's no way that Gazef is going to beat Ainz. It's not going to happen. But let's see how this, I, I guess it's more how the battle turns, turns out. Um... Uh, let's see how Gazef will do Ainz. I, I, I mean, it's gonna end with Ainz winning, but whatever. Um, guys, I, I'm also, in, I'm also like interested too as to why Ainz wants Gazef for. I mean, he's not that powerful. I mean, he's powerful amongst humans, but I, I mean, he's weaker than every floor guardian that uh, like are better. So. Why? Why do you want Gazef as as your subordinate? In any case, I'm sure all the answers will come to us this episode, as they most likely skip us some details from the light novel. I'm sure they will. In any case, um, guys, thank you so much for watching throughout this whole series with me. Thank you for watching. All right, thank you for coming and commenting over and over again. Mucho appreciated. Much, <laughs> much appreciated, okay? Thank you all for being here. Alright. So, let's get right into the anime reaction. Let me go. Holy shit. Is he still gonna do it? More like request to die. Oh, we're going right into it. PvP? PvP? Player versus player? What? The Ainz is the only player. What? Uh. Gazef isn't really a player, though. He can't use everything. What kind of duel was that supposed to be? Okay, climb. I'm gonna talk about what I thought about the episode here. So if you want to stick around, feel free to do so. If not, thank you so much for watching me throughout this journey, this, 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 these, these episodes of Overlord. And whenever um, season four comes out, I will react to that too. Alright, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, alright, and uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for my next anime reaction, okay? This episode here, it started off with the duel between, um, between Gazef here, between Gazef here and Ainz. Now, um, Ga it, it was hinted that... It, or Ayn said himself that Gazef's sword could kill him, which means that Gazef was not use he wasn't really he, was, he wasn't using the sword to, to the fullest potential. Is that it? I assume that is that is it. it. It's like he he has a strong sword, but he's he's using like a fraction of what of what it could really do. Um, if Ayn says says that it could kill him, is that powerful? But he couldn't even cut cut through the goat's goat's um skin, and it's supposed to be this really strong like like artifact or something, which it is. It is just he's not really utilizing it to the to the fullest potential. Um. Also, Ayn seemed to be. It seems that um Gazef um seems to act or 
at least he reminds eyes of somebody he used to know, a player he used to know. Um, I guess that's why he admires him so much and wants him to be a subordinate because he reminds him of somebody he used to play with a long time ago. I don't know who the hell that is, but he definitely reminds eyes of one of his his friends he, he used to play with before. That's why he gave in to Gazev's like demands. He did not want to kill him. He really he he went he, like he, he he wanted to bring him back after he died. Um but he respected the wishes of Gazev to the very end. Even his wish not to take the sword. Like Ainz knew how strong that sword was, but because he respected the wish of Gazev, um he left that powerful sword which if it could kill Ainz then it could kill everybody underneath Ainz. If somebody learns how to utilize it, right? Then it could kill everybody. It could kill Ainz, it could kill Albedo, it could kill everybody. Right? I mean who's um under Ainz. Just the true potential is locked away. Um for some reason. Um maybe a human can't unlock the full potential. Um, or can't use it to the full potential. Or maybe they can. I don't know. Maybe brain might find a way to use it to the full potential. Right? I'm going to assume that's that's why he did not uh, want to kill Gaza because he reminds him of a former friend. Alright? Um, you also We also see Ainz use time magic for the first time. Like, as soon as the bell rang, time magic, instant death, and that was it. Funny to see, grim to see. I mean, Gazev didn't even. Technically, Gazev didn't really get the duel that he wanted to. He just died in one hit. He probably didn't didn't even know know what happened. I mean, I, he heard the bell and he was dead. That's most likely how he viewed it. He viewed it, he viewed it from his perspective. Unfortunately, bell, dead. Um. And Ainz respected his uh his uh wishes still and. Use a spell called True Death, meaning that no ordinary like sorcerer in the kingdom could bring could bring Gazev back from the dead. Uh, maybe Dumbledore could do it. Maybe Dumbledore could bring him back. I don't know, but Dumbledore will not do that because he's um on the eyes now. So speaking of Dumbledore, where the flick is Dumbledore? We saw him once. He once viewing the prince. He, he was like. Suspicious of the Prince of El Nix if he knew about his uh, alliance with Ainz and that was it. Where the flick is Dumbledore? Anyway. Alright. And as we move forward um, after the defeat, we see the aftermath. Uh, we see how the Prince is scared. He is... He's, he, we see him laughing, but he's terrified of that power. He, is, he can't believe that the amount of power that Ainz has. All right. Everybody is afraid of Ainz. All, all the the people who who face Ainz is not afraid of him. Um, which I said this in the episode that Ainz does not want to rule with with fear. He doesn't want the population to despair because he doesn't want anybody to 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 revolt against him. But um, he still did it. Um. Power like that will make anybody afraid of you, or want to to up to to strike back against you. So even though he believes that he um will have this like event underneath his control and and good, that's that's not gonna work. There there will be a a small group who's gonna try to to attack Ainz. I don't know how the hell they're going to do that, but Ainz. Conquering the kingdom now made made sure the Lord that he has enemies. He now has enemies. He has to deal with um, everybody, the families who who died, the association, the, all, everybody who died. Their families, their relatives are gonna come back at Ainz. Even if Ainz believes that he is not willing and fear, he's going to do it now. It's, it's gonna happen, right? There's no way that you could dominate the whole world and be a nobody not try try to 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 claim that power back. 
that's too much for one man to have right or one skeleton to have right um we also see uh Gaza, not Gaza, brain uh um it seems that he's gonna become stronger i guess that was he that's what he wants to do he wants to continue to fight for his friend um and Clem also made a suggestion that uh the reason why the reason why guys have chose chose to throw his life away is because he wanted them to see um Ian's power what he could do all right um which he didn't have to do that. I mean, that's kind of foolish of him to do because the goats, he killed 70,000 people. Someone goats, these demonic goats from the dead, and you don't think that that's enough? I don't understand. That can't be it. I don't believe what Clem is saying that Gaza want, wanted to show Ainz's power, which is bull, because the entire army saw it, the empire saw Ainz's power. The spells that he's capable of doing, all right. They, he didn't need to to kill himself. Uh, I assume he's doing it because of his duty as a knight, not because he wanted to show the power. Because the power was already shown, all right. He didn't need to to kill himself because to show Ainz's power. He did it for his king. He did it for his kingdom. His duty as a knight. That's why I assume that he killed. He chose to to stand up and fight. And not join join Ainz for because he he is a knight and he has to protect his king, right? All right. Um, we also see the king who is in the throne room there, who is just like he is defeated, man. He his son is gone. His his best man is gone in Gaza. Um. So yeah, and I believe that same room where where the king was is where Ainz was after afterwards right i could be if i'm wrong please correct me but, but i believe Ainz was in that same room where the king where, where the king was right um yeah that was sad sad to see again Ainz is ruling with with fear even if he thinks that he's not um as we move forward we see climb and Rhina, print the princess with the golden princess interacting um we was we the princess gave climb the task of delivering these flowers to the dead and as climb moves away she has the smile on her face maybe why did she do that for i don't know um but she has a plan she she sent him there for a reason all right um but yeah her twisted love continues with Climb, and Climb can't even tell the difference. There will be a time when he will see how twisted the princess really is. It might take a long time for him to notice because he has protagonist dense denseness. So it'll take him a while to really re realize that that the princess is heartless. She she doesn't have a heart of gold. She has a a heart of coal or something. I I don't know. Um. Also. Ainz came in to claim the kingdom, um, to ki to claim e to claim e to claim e rental. Um, he gave them the ultimatum, as in, you give me e, e rental, or I bring in the goods to massacre everybody, and they had no choice but to do that. Now Ainz doesn't realize that he he has too much enemies now. I'm curious as to see who is going to uprise against Ainz. It's not just the Empire and, and the Kingdom. This, 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 this is going to be war on a big scale against Ainz. All right. As um, his army was coming in to claim the Kingdom for himself, uh, this kid threw a rock and uh, I, I don't know if that was uh, if that kid knew 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 what he was doing but he he was upset because he lost his dad um then Abedo came came in pretending to kill the child but she wasn't going to even to, to even do it in the first place it seems because Momon of darkness Ainz came came uh came in um which seems to uh he's 
it's a stated that he's doing that. He came in there to um to have some kind of control so no chaos or fear is brought. Um basically more more moon of darkness is the way how he, he intends to keep the peace for now, to keep the fear down to a minimum. Because that's not the way how he wants to rule. Okay, and Momon is how he's going to do it. Alright, um, Momon will be the city's protector. He, essentially, he, he, he will protect them to some extent. Um, so yeah, if I'm wrong, please tell me, but yeah. Um, so we also see Ainz in sorcerer form in his mage form appear next to Albedo which I assume that is Pandora yeah the um more moon of darkness was the real Ainz and the Ainz next to Albedo was Pandora um that's what I'm going to assume because that's who Pandora normally tends to mimic right? and as we move forward we see um we see Albedo and uh and uh Demi Urge going towards their new throne room. Alright, their their second base of operation in the in in the Kingdom Castle. Um and what I assume is the same throne throne room that, that the king was in before. Uh he relieved, he was relieved of his post and I is now takes the seat as king of the kingdom the sorcerer king yes um that was really easy for him for him to do like <laughs> he was on the side of the side of the uh of the empire but now he's like <laughs> no no the empire no the empire has to face eins eventually right don't don't they have a a yearly war against the kingdom? Is that going to, going to, going to stop now because Ainz is the kingdom now? Nobody can stand in Ainz's Ainz's way. We have not seen anybody, any human that could truly face Ainz. Um we have seen seen some hints about it. There there are individuals in, in this world who could fight Ainz. Uh and items that can kill ions or damage ions significantly like that sword that Gazif has that brain now now has um and there was we still have not seen that girl with the white and black hair in the beginning of season two who says she wants a strong man to to to, to get her pregnant or something I, I i don't think we 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 even got her name um the girl with the white and black hair the dragon and the old lady those were maybe the strongest individuals we've seen also evil eye is pretty strong she's as strong as uh she's as strong as uh well she's pretty strong all right so there are beings there there are individuals in this world that could fight irons maybe maybe we'll see that in season four maybe hopefully so yeah i think that's basically it um this season was pretty good um was it was it amazing no i wouldn't say it was amazing but it kept me and entertained until the very end um uh i reached to this point so i i, I can't stop now all right um some things i i i i wish they didn't have to skip through so much things and the that that goat like the five goats that were brought back what that were brought up last episode were apparently like terrifying in the light not novel which is kind of weird because it's just words but the, but the description the description in the light novel apparently is uh really good description alone could terrify you if it's done well and I think I saw the page with the splat, 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 just an entire page with just splat. And I saw that. But, um, yeah. I really wish that the anime lived up or surpassed the light novel. But, yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it did. 
um somebody in the comment section was asking if i wanted to read the the light novel or review it um i'm not going to do that because simple i don't care to <laughs> you know who you are <laughs> um responding to you and everybody else um about that i'm not going to be doing the light n novel because i don't care to i i mean i don't even really read manga to begin with um, so I'm probably not going to read the light no novel, really. I don't expect to. So, yeah, sorry about that in advance, if it, um, it bothers you. Um, again, thank you all for commenting so much. means a lot. I wish I could remember all your names, but I can't. I suck with names. I would have to go in my phone and check your names. But thank you all for commenting day after day. Um, being here, supporting. Domo arigato gozaimasu, yeah. Alright, um, for now, the only, the only anime I, I see myself doing for fall, guaranteed, most likely, if I, if I like it, is Goblin Slayer. I want to try out Goblin Slayer, so look up for that. Um, for, but for right now, that's all I can see myself, like, honestly doing and spending time with. So, Goblin Slayer, Attack on Titan, because we still have to complete that. So yeah, look up for, gob for, for, for Goblin Slayer, most likely, if, if I like it. Um, I don't see myself doing anything much afterwards unless I do a one-time re reaction to something and I like it, then I might do more of it. But that's basically it. Um, so yeah, guys, if I missed out any important details in the discussion here, please tell me. Um without doing because there will be more to come for this show and I can't wait to see what happens fresh so yeah um feel free to talk to talk to me about this episode and what they skipped out because I'm sure they skipped out something so feel free to do that all right um I think that's about it uh yeah so guys thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time most likely for attack on titan Okay, so look out for that, okay? Goodbye. So long. And farewell. Goodbye. Thank you so much for being here. Later.